Well, guys, if you if you didn't figure it out, the Cecropia hatched! Yay! Perfect. Perfect. She came out of her cocoon the day before yesterday when I wasn't home. Yeah, yeah, go on and brag about it. Yep. I really wanted to catch her coming out of her cocoon on camera, but she had other plans apparently. So, but she is female. You can tell by the antennas. The male's antennas are way fluffier. And yeah, she's she's pretty chill. We're just chilling, making some TikToks real quick. You know. If I'm lucky, they live about 10 to 14 days. Um, I'm hoping to get at least a week with her. So I don't think I'm going to release her. I don't know. I'm thinking about putting her enclosure out on the deck one night and seeing if maybe a male comes. I don't know. So yeah, here's her cocoon all empty now. No, because literally where, where did she come out? Where did you even come out of? It literally, it literally looks like there should still be a moth in there. I mean, it sounds empty, but it looks, what? Another cool thing to update on is we found some monarch eggs today. We went over to the farm and checked on the ones that grow wild or whatever you want to call it. We have some that we have in pots and some that kind of just grow on their own. Um, and yeah, we found three monarch eggs, which it's very early in the season for. Very excited, nonetheless. Hopefully they are fertile. But considering today is May 22nd, I think that's the... Oh, where'd the third one go? There it is. I think that's the earliest we've ever found monarch eggs. Okay, it's the next day. Pay my appearance no mind because... I literally just woke up and the mailman was coming. So you guys saw my Cecropia moth and I showed you guys my Polyphemus moth cocoon. Right, right. I need to, I need to find scissors. Anyways, I had the two cocoons, right? I got them from the same company, which is a local place. And I noticed after like a couple of days, the Polyphemus cocoon, um, like, I had picked them up to, like, mist them or something. And I noticed that the Polyphemus cocoon seemed, like, lighter in weight than when I had originally gotten it. And usually, if a cocoon is, uh, they're not going to be gaining weight. But if they're losing weight, that's usually a sign that, um, the critter inside is failing so i get to do a little unboxing with you guys um oh so anyways i contacted the company that my other polyphemus was that i got the polyphemus and um at first they were saying that they didn't guarantee them and i was like that's weird because um they were like nature isn't guaranteed and i was like that's weird because like i didn't get them from nature i got them from you guys um, so then after talking them down, they were like, oh yeah, like we'll see, um, about if we can find a replacement to send you because on their website, it, on their website, it said that they were out of the polyphemus. This one's got a lot more leaf on it. It's wiggling. That's a much better sign. I don't think. Can you hear it? We should go put it in the enclosure. Okay, that's a good sign. The last time I got one of these, um, that was not the case. It was a very still, oh my gosh, it's moving around so much, I'm gonna put it down. No, you just had to go through the mail. At least they put a lot of fluff in with it. Um, but yeah, so the other cocoon is definitely not alive. Because when I had the lunar moth cocoons, they did the same thing. Um, actually, they were not this active. Oh my god, it's still moving. 
um, when I had the Lunar Moth cocoons, I could tell uh, they didn't they weren't that active when I first got them. But a few days before they came out of the cocoon, they were very active inside of it like that. Um, so yeah, this one's very active. The other one was very much not. So the other one was probably dead once I received it. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're going to go put this in the enclosure now. This one's got, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, can you see it moving? Oh my gosh, okay. All right, let's go do that. I think I'm going to put her in here with Clarice. Say hello, Clarice. A new roommate for you, Clarice. Just put a little paper towel down. Open this up. Very gently. She's alive in there. Just very gently uh, slide her out of there. Now you can wiggle in peace. Oh my gosh, you can see it. Clarice, are you okay with your new roommate? Yeah? Okay. Our little friend here, little miss. Here we go. Now that the replacement is here, I don't have to be so worried that I'm going to hurt that one opening the pod to see what's wrong with the pupa inside. So long story short, stay tuned for part two. We're about to open it up. Today we are going to be opening up this uh, polyphemus cocoon that I believe is no longer alive. Oh, okay. I was gonna say um, it doesn't smell as bad as I was anticipating. You wanna know what it smells like? If you've ever had stretched ears, like like, gauges plugs in your ears that's what it smells like just like it <coughs> mm, like rotting earlobes it's delicious so as you can hear doesn't sound so good in there um let's see how should i go about this this is why I never want to open them if I don't have to, because I'm like, where do I, where do you start? How do you be gentle? Oh my gosh. Okay, I think, I think we're in. It's looking pretty dried out. Um, usually they'll be wiggling around like the other one. Yeah, unfortunately she is totally dried out. Bummer. Now, I'm not entirely sure what could have been done to prevent this. But it looks like it might have been male. Those look like some big antenna. But I think it's safe to say this little guy is not making it. That's a crunchy, that's a crunchy pupae. Also, little fun info. When I first got the other cocoon and the Cecropia cocoon, uh, the Polyphemus one said, I think it was, I think it's three to five weeks. Uh, three to six weeks. So the polyphemus said three to six weeks, and the cecropia said like uh, four to six weeks. So I knew when the cecropia came out first that that also wasn't a great sign because, as far as I could understand, the polyphemus should have come out first. Um, since the other one wasn't moving at all, I had assumed that they had come straight out of the fridge. And the Cecropia took about four weeks to come out of its cocoon. Um, but so the other Polyphemus that I had was supposed to come out three to six weeks, whatever. It never did. Um, so now the fun little question is how long till this one comes out? Because when I called for the replacement, they were like, oh, um, it was on like a Friday. And they were like, our guy who like, 
sources and finds them and stuff won't be in until Monday. And so he won't be able to see if we have any left or potentially order another one for you until Monday. And so I was like, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Like, just let me know. And so now I'm rambling, but the, the question is, is this going to take, like, did he just find this in the back of the fridge? And I mean, I know it's alive because it was just moving, but, um, because sometimes people will put the cocoons in the fridge <clears throat> to keep them like hibernating because they'll do that for the winter. Um, so I'm just curious on the time frame of when this moth is supposed to come out. Like, has it been sitting at the sh on the shelf at the the place that I get them from? Was it pushed back on a shelf? And has it been on a shelf for the last three weeks and, and no one knew it was there? And is it gonna come out in a week or is it gonna be three to six weeks again I don't know I'm guessing it's going to probably be maybe a week or two from the movement that already is going on with the cocoon um, so yeah hopefully we have a polyphemus soon <laughs>